Okay, I'm here with Bill, and uh, we drove out Fruitville Road from the uh, interstate, um, I-75, and how many miles out are we to this location? Just so that That's 13, uh, 13 miles total, probably 11 from, fruit, from fruit, the uh, I-75 out Fruitville to the T in the road where you turn uh, on Mayaka Road to come here. It's another about two, two and a half miles on the okay. left-hand side. And can you tell us about the festival that's going on here today? And this is an annual event, correct? It is an annual event. Years ago, we used to have a day we called Pioneer Days, and we decided to change that and incorporate the whole history of Southwest Florida uh, as far back as we could go. So we now call it the uh, Heritage Festival, and this is the second year for that name. Uh, last year, we had about 1,100 people, and we're expecting at least that this year, maybe we're hoping even more. It's been a, it's a great opportunity. Uh, we go back as far back as, uh, as the Paleo Indians. Uh, we have archaeological digs that are going on for kids, and they can actually bring up, uh, you know, petrified ar artifacts mm -hmm. and uh, take those home with them. Uh, we have uh, all the way up to today's current cowboys, which you see behind me now. Uh, they're a, it's a big part of what uh, what this this southwest central part of Florida is all about. Uh, the cattle culture. Uh, we in our museum. We actually have a uh, display, uh, a little bit of history about the cattle culture here in Florida. Uh, this is originally settled by a pioneer named John Crowley, and uh, we celebrate his family also, who were kind of entrepreneurs in the area. They were blacksmiths. They had a country store, and they also had a sawmill. So there's a there's a whole lot of things we're celebrating today. We just had a Civil War reenactment, which we have done. There'll be another one this afternoon, and uh, it's really a great opportunity to see people in. Period costumes. It's a really a living history event. This festival really celebrates the whole culture of Southwest Florida uh, that was started, you know, in the mid 1800s and through about 1920. And I'm assuming you have a lot of details on your website as well. Yes, we have a lot of details on our website. We have a brand new website. Matter of fact, it was just built. And what is that website address? The website is www.cm ncfl.org. Okay, great. And we'll link to it from our article as well. Great. Well, thanks for everything you do. And I know you're busy here today, and we'll shoot some more clips around the area. Well, thank you very much for coming. It's a pleasure to have you out here. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm here with George, and that is a beautiful horse that you're on. And you were going to tell us a little bit about the, the history of the cattle industry here in Florida. I'll be brief, and uh, Matt Condo can back me up on water if I ever make any mistakes. Mm -hmm. We did a documentary uh, several years ago. It was just that, a documentary. It didn't have a message. It didn't have anything. It was the daily working life of a, a ranch mm -hmm. from dusk till dawn. And if you can find a way, or if I can get it for you, you, you got to see the, the documentary to appreciate the movie, which became, came out of the documentary. Mm -hmm. That movie is Cracker. Mm -hmm. It's been premiered. It took first place in the Florida Film Festival. It's been premiered all over the country. And I recently sent some uh, a copy to the Royal Canadian Mounted Police up there because it has to do with the culture that hopefully was, is, and hopefully will continue. Mm -hmm. But slowly but surely, urbanization and uh, the encroachment of a uh, <coughs> civilized world yep. has moved into what you see here. Yep. And I try to equate it with the Amish people where I'm very familiar with. Mm -hmm. Now, if you can envision this, the people in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and most of them put up with it. Some of them like them, some of them don't like them. But all they see is their buggies going up and down the street. Mm -hmm. And one of these days, they're going to look out their kitchen window. And what are they going to see? They're not going to be there anymore. Yeah. And that's where the tears start. So you're, 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 you're trying to really preserve this, this preserve, way of life and this history. Not just a way of life, not, 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 not just the nature, mm -hmm. but these guys, all these guys, they're, they're a different ball of wax. Mm -hmm. They probably are more sentimental than most people, but you'd never know by looking at them. They look hard as nails, but they're really not. Mm -hmm. They're a good bunch of boys. Well, thanks for what you do. And um, now, real briefly, how did cat, the cattle industry come to Florida? We're make us, in a nutshell, the Spaniards brought the cattle to Florida in 1510. The Indians here chased the Spaniards out and left the cattle. Slowly but surely, the cattle, with the help, of course, of uh, settlers, migrated west. 
Florida was the original cattle state. Okay. And to today, it, is, it bounces back and forth between Florida and Texas as to which is the largest cattle producing state in the nation. Wow, most, the original, people, most people don't know that. They would think Texas. That's right. And the, the, the original cowboy, try, if, I can, if you can see me when I'm off this horse sometime today, I don't have my truck with me. I would be able to give you a, 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 a copy of both uh, Cowboys of Florida and, uh, and uh, Cracker. But Bill Conrad, he's got, have him, if nothing else, have him show you those uh, movies and, uh, and then tell, have, tell him how I can get, see that you get a copy. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, well, thank you for everything you're doing here today and, and for your way of life. Thank you, sir. Documented sheet that um, could have got blowed up too. That might have been all left of it. Right, that's true. The whole body right. Who knows on that? an archaeological dig that the kids can participate in. Even try out the bow and arrow here. I was sitting on a hillside looking down in the valley of Steamboat Springs and they were having a hot air balloon race. So now for those of you who don't know, Steamboat Springs is internationally famous for its hot air balloon races. So I sat there, watched them fill up their balloons with helium and take off. Silver Balloon was in the lead, which is why it's in this song. On the first day that we met, you took me for a ride, high up in your silver balloon. Then you dropped me off, and I said thank you much. You said, babe, I'll see you real soon. Flower? 